What's up, Chimisca? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Yunus. And today we're going to be trying Russian food for the very, very first time. Look at the spread, you guys. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy's gone on our last mukbang. So big big shout out to Shy Dancer 10, Fab Liha 2085, Swag Money Productions 9121, Alaya Laktawala 4727, and Bang Tan's Love 9185. Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So we have some pelmeni over here with some sauce to dip, Olivier salad, kotleti with mashed potatoes, borscht, and chicken blintz. Yum. Choice of drink today, we have authentic Russian pot, what was it? Kompot? Kompot. Just like dry fruit made into juice. Um, I think they just put it in this container, but wow, look at the color, you guys. Oh, so they made it there. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're gonna say grace real quick. Amen. Amen. What did you say? Luna's hair. Oh. <laughs> I'm tired of it. This reminds me of like, you know, still water. Which looks like still or flat. It kind of smells like tamarindo, you know, like awa fresa tamarindo flavor. Oh, right. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Like it. it feels really clean. I love how it's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very like. Fresh. It'll go well with the food. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we've been missing forks in our kitchen. I don't know what happened. So we're gonna stick with plastic today. I bet it's in her room. No, it's in your room. I wash all my dishes right away. Anyway. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Unless no, you I'm don't. busy. You know, I called you so many times. Unless I'm busy. Dishes. No. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Um, which one should we do? I really want to try the borscht. Oh, let's tell them what each thing is. Okay, okay. So <clears throat> we did a little bit of studying. This one is pelmeni. It's a tortellini. I believe this has some type of meat inside. Like a filling inside. I think like a dumpling filling, if anything. Something like that. We'll see. But you can dip it in the sour cream. This one is Olivier, it's a potato salad, very authentic to Russia. This one is kotleti. I think these are like patties, right? They're chicken mm. patties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the mashed potato salad. This one is chicken blintz. It's a crepe and it has, what is it? Chicken inside? It has chicken inside and some type of gravy with mushroom sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is borscht over here, which I've been dying to try. It's a beef-based soup with beets, cabbage, and potatoes. <laughs> So you're, you're my song, right? It helps, right? It's because we made a song so that I remember this. Beats, Beats cabbage, cabbage potatoes. potatoes. Beats cabbage potatoes. You heard it, right? I, I heard it. I heard it in my head. So I really want to try this first. Yeah, we can garnish it with sour cream. Mm -hmm. And it has dill inside too. So I believe both of this is sour cream? They're the same thing, yeah. Okay. Oh, it goes to oh. the top. Okay, okay. Let me just try like two. Let's just try a little bit and see because oh, it's it our first time. Okay. Mix it in. This looks really interesting. Yeah. Oh wow, a lot of veggies. Ooh. I love that. Mmm. Mm. Oh, more sour cream. It's really mm. good. It's really good with the sour cream. Oh wow. Mm. I've been really into feel better soups these days. Yeah. If you follow my Instagram, you'll see. But I love a good like comfort soup. This is really good. It's very flavorful. I taste the beef broth and it's a little sour. There's dill love. in here. I could see it. Oh, there's beef too. Oh, really? Mm, I got beef. Ooh. And the vegetables are just very comforting. It's sour because of the sour cream, obviously, but it's so good with sour cream. Oh my God. I want a piece of beef. Where'd you find that? The beef? meat is so soft. Really? <gasps> mm-hmm. Dude, like you'll never catch me eating beets, but this I will. Oh wow! Like it's so soft. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What kind of beef is this? I it, like. It's really soft, huh? Yeah, it just shreds in my mouth. Wow. Oh wow, that's really good. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, this is oh really there's good. a bay leaf. Yeah, there's a bay leaf in here. Mmm. Mm. The soup is really good. The dill adds a very like fresh flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I think sour cream and dill is just a great combo. Like yeah. anything with those two together is like. Wow, that's really good. I want to try that. Okay. 
Because actually, palmeni is a appetizer. This looks really good. It's totalini, and you dip it in the sour cream. That's really good. It reminds me of like... I don't know, I can't say dumpling because these are much thicker. Like the outside is much thicker. The outside is very thick. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't taste like pasta so much. Yeah. It tastes like it's been steamed. Mm -hmm. The sour cream just adds a very like fresh, creamy taste to it. Mm -hmm. The inside has a lot of like beef flavor, so I think the sour cream really complements it. Yeah, rather than the dip, it feels like it's just like it's sauce. Like it's meant to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we try the potato salad? Right when you type in Russian salad, this one will be like everywhere because like this is really popular. So I think it's a potato salad. Mmm. Mmm. There's some kind of meat in here, huh? I think it's like capers. No, there's chicken. Peas. No? There's peas in here. There's chicken. I don't taste any chicken. Is this not chicken that I'm tasting? This is really good. Mm. I feel like this would be really good with like white bread. Oh, and between white bread. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's definitely not like a southern potato salad. It's better. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. I tried this salad too. Mmm. I'm just thinking this one's just more fresh. Yeah, this one is just like a side salad they gave us. Mmm. Mmm. It's refreshing. Great palate cleanser. Mm-hmm. A lot of dill in here too. Yeah, I think I think Russians use a lot of dill, dill. in their food. Yeah. It's very, very fresh. Over here too, dill. Oh yeah, I think that's like their main garnish maybe. Mm. Like us, we would use green onions. Green onions, yeah. sesame seeds. Yeah. That's a fabulous garnish. Yeah, amazing. Wait, they gave us this. We didn't order it, I think it comes with. I feel like it's garlic bread. Kind of looks like garlic bread. It looks like cheese on top. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just refresh my palate. I think that's pretty equal of cut, right? Because mine's like fatter. Oh, yours like fatter, mine's yeah. longer. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Garlic bread. It's garlic bread. Make sure we dip it in here. Oh my god, yeah. I think, yeah. Is that why they gave it to us? I don't know, but let's try. Mmm. It's mm. pretty good. I don't know if that's why they gave it to us, but that's pretty good. And it works. Mm hmm. This is another appetizer at the chicken blends. Oh, yeah. I have a knife here. It kind of cuts oh, easily. That is some cut. Like the way that I, it looks, it's so... That gravy looks amazing. Chicken blends. Mmm. The outside is like basically a crepe. Super savory. The inside? That's really good. I think there's cheese on top too, huh? The gravy is really good. Yeah, the gravy is bomb. It's like a creamy mushroom. Mm. I think it is cheese on top. It's delicious. Appetizer, appetizer, soup, salad, salad, main. It's really good. I need some more. Like, you can this taste, bomb. it's so good. You can taste the fruits, but it's not overwhelming. At all. It feels almost like a tea. Okay, I want to try the coletti. Oh, yes. Okay. Should we do smaller pieces? It's kind of big. Yeah. Yeah, can you cut it? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I don't know why it almost looks like tofu. Like tofu? It does. It looks like ground chicken. Just like mashed up into a patty. Yeah. I'll dip it a little bit on the mashed potato. Mm. The chicken is really seasoned well. It's very soft. Mm -hmm, it's flavorful. I don't really like rounded chicken, but very, very soft. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. So much love. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. I don't know why, but this whole meal doesn't feel heavy. It's very comforting. I feel like I'm eating kind of healthy in a way. I don't know why. It tastes clean, that's yeah. why. Yeah. I always thought Russian food would be kind of heavy because I know that Russia eats a lot of potatoes. But, wow, well, pleasantly, it's very light. I used to have a really close friend that was Russian, but she was Korean. There's like a, a lot of Koreans in Russia, right? Like a group yeah. of Koreans? Yeah, so I don't know the history accurately, but I do know that a lot of Koreans migrated to Russia. Mm. So we used to attend a church that was like Korean. But there, there was, was also a Russian, Russian ministry. Service. Yeah. Yeah. And growing up, I would be kind of confused because they looked Korean to me. Yeah, and they all knew Korean. But they, they are knew, Korean. Yeah. But they're like Russian Korean. Yeah, yeah. Russian Korean. And there was also Russian Russian people there too. Yeah, like they look Caucasian. White, yeah. Yeah. So it was kind of f confusing to me. Like growing up, I was like, they look Korean. They speak Korean, but then they're Russian. Like, how does that work? I was confused too. I was confused too. But, but there's like Chinese Koreans too. Like yeah, there is. Yeah, I learned some words. Tell me if my accent is good because I've been told that it's. Pretty good. Okay, try. Привет. Привет. Как дела? Меня зовут Юнис. That sound good? I mean, I'm not in a place to judge. I know, but like, but Loki, you did good. sound a little good. And I answer the phone. Hola. Hola. Is that hello? Хорошо, хорошо. Oh, they do a lot of хорошо. Хорошо, хорошо. Пока. How was that? Let me know. Honestly, <laughs> Russian language sounds so good. It sounds to me. so good. And then, like, I used to attend some of their services because we were really close, and I would read their lyrics, like, that would come up on How the How do projector. you even read it? It's like little, like, symbols. I would try. It's like, but the click. Because there's like little P. Like, looking P. Stuff. Yeah. I would understand the P. You know, I will say though, mm -hmm. Russia has one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my entire life. That's true. Very beautiful. Like, no, if you go to Korea and ask the guys, like, which country they women, like Russian they girls. love Russians. You notice that, right? I noticed it too. I mean, why wouldn't they? I like Russian girls too. No, Russian girls are very beautiful because they kind of have like, um, they kind of have that fox eye look, you know? Mm. I think it's because they're like, are they in Asia? I feel like they can fit both the Western standard of beauty and, and the Asian. Asia, yeah. yeah. They have eyes that are kind of like exotic looking, kind of Asian looking, but then their face is white and they just look a little like, I don't know, they look so good. Do you know any Russian celebrities? Um, Celebrities, no, but I follow like a couple Russian Instagram girls. They're so mm. pretty. Like their face just look like Barbie dolls, straight Barbie dolls. I love how this chicken patty is so easily breakable. I was afraid that it was going to be dry because at first glance, it looks dry. No, it looks dry, but I kid you not, it's not. It's so soft. Like, there's so much space in between every, like, little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can explain that to you, but it's kind of airy almost. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, like, compact and dense, you know? So it's not dry, per se. Very, very tender almost. Yeah. And there's little bits of onions in there too, so there's good crunch. It's not like... Bok bok Yeah, basically dry. Mm. But you know these look like... um. Good <laughs> dog. Oh, they do! <laughs> they do. You guys, Christmas is coming up. Hello, Mariah Christmas. Carey is done defrosting. She is making money. Angel and Mila went to go get Christmas trees, but I couldn't go because you know mukbang. I'm so excited to start decorating. It's her first Christmas. That's so sweet. Okay, guys. So from this taste test review, we're gonna rate our favorite dishes. Do you wanna go first or should I go first? You go first. <clears throat> I'm oh still man, marinating right now. Yeah, cause there's like two that I'm kind of dealing with right now, but. I would say my favorite is this borscht. Okay. I love how refreshing and like flavorful this is. And second favorite, I think I like the palmeni the best. Really good with the sour cream. It's so comfortable. Oh, see, that's why it's hard. When you say it like that, it refreshes my memory. Right. Personally, ew, there's no <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> it's not lipstick, it's from the borscht. It's not lipstick. Are you sure? Yeah, because I will pull you out here. Look. <laughs> Look. They got. <laughs> <laughs> How did my lipstick get here? I didn't eat it like... 
heck, weirdo? <laughs> Story that caught me off guard. I was like, why is there lipstick? Okay. My favorite was the Coletti. Oh. It was really like unexpected because the meat was really tender. It's really tender. I don't know. When you look at it, at first glance, it looks dry. So I was kind of worried, but it yeah. was really unexpected. And then I'll say my second favorite was the Borscht. Like these two, I was kind of like, mm. But this one actually came up because, I don't know, I love me a good comfort soup. I feel like if I was sick, I would just love this. It's different too. Yeah. Like and my initial thought, I thought it was going to be tomato based, but mm, it's not. It's and not like tomato that. based. Yeah. It just looks red because of the beets. So it makes you feel like you're eating healthy too. Yeah. But it's really good. The sour cream, you have to try it. Let us know if there are any Russians in the house and let us know what your favorite Russian meal is in the comments as well because we're curious and we would love to try. This is a lot of food actually. It was really filling so we're going to be saving it for later which is really clutch because we get really hungry at the midnight. Especially this. I'm definitely going to eat this. Okay guys, well thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding! If you guys haven't already, make sure to go and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account and we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> my